one. So today I decided to kind of film a talk through get ready with me. I've seen so many um, videos on YouTube that do this and I haven't had one video that includes a talk through and I feel like if I do a talk through kind of makeup get ready with me you guys will probably get to know me a lot better because I'm gonna actually be talking to you guys today. If you can please mind this little thing that's gonna be on the corner of this video thing is that I honestly do not know how else I can film this because I feel like the lighting is so much better when it's hitting me. I don't know, let me guys know in the comments down below if that's really bothering you. But anyway, so I'm going to start out with some primer. And I know so many people probably want me to put my hair up. But if I'll be honest with you guys, usually when I get ready, I have my hair down. The first thing I'm going to start out with is primer. This one is by Catrice. I'm sure many of you have seen um, me use this before because I did use this a lot before. So it's a illuminating, illuminating, illuminating <laughs> primer. Basically, it'll give me that glow to my skin. Too bad. I just realized that I didn't put hand sanitizer after the dog like licked my fingers. Get ready for breakouts tomorrow, Joanna. Just, I'm putting on some hand sanitizer right now. I'm going to try out today the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Oh my god, I've heard so much about this. So, let's see if it's going to live up to my expectations. I have tried a little bit of it already, but not that much. So, I'm taking like this much and just patting it all over my face and... I'm not gonna take like a lot because this stuff is so expensive. Let's just be honest. So I'm gonna just put this all over. So the shade is amazing. It's like exactly my skin tone. I really do like the shade of this foundation. And as you can see, it automatically covered up my redness. I do think I can put another pump with this. Probably like around my forehead and just wherever I'm really red usually, which is like here. So, blend that out and I'm using this Sigma 3D HD flat kabuki brush. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I did get a little bit more highlights in my hair. And it's a little shorter, but like not that much shorter, but... I don't know, change is good. <laughs> this is nothing dramatic. I was wanting to go a little bit more dramatic, but that just didn't work out for some reason. It just, it's just, you know, highlights and yeah, whatever. Let me guys know down below. Remember my hair was like jet black. Everyone told me they really liked that, but I don't know why I just felt it was like a little bit too harsh. That was just my personal preference. All right. I'm going to now take this Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and I'm just going to put it on my eyelids just so I can um, lighten them out because I have really dark lids. I honestly don't know why. They just get dark. <laughs> So I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to take my brow, and I'm going to be using the NYX uh, eyebrow gel. Clip my hair up so just so that it doesn't bother me and so that you guys don't complain about this situation with my hair so yeah, I clipped it up. I really hope you guys don't mind this gigantic mirror like in the video. It's just I, I can't find a better setup right now and I, I honestly feel really bad. Like, I'm gonna take a little bit of brow gel. This one is from 
Sephora. This is the brow builder. I just got this. I'm honestly, I have no idea how I feel about this, but I'm just putting it like on the ends there. I feel like for me, it's not like a necessary step, but it's like an extra step if you know what I mean. So why not, you know? You can make something like a little better why not so i feel like it does make it a little better but i don't see like a dramatic difference i guess it holds my eyebrows in place yeah all right so now i'm going to be doing my eyes so i'm thinking i want to do something very natural for today so i'm gonna go in with the balm palette and I'm going to take the shade Feisty, it is a pink shade. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush such as this one and just begin to pat that onto my eyelid. From this new Lancome Low Palette that I got, it's this shimmery shade here. I'm going to apply it right there in the center, as you can see, that's so pretty. And then I'm going to take the shade here, um, and I'm going to put it on my crease. shade from Sigma here, the Sigma Topaz shade. Okay, so um, now that my eyes are kind of done, I'm just going to now conceal. So I'm going to do a little bit of concealer. This is the NARS one. because I'm just feeling white liner right now. So I'm gonna just take this from, this is from Anastasia, and I'm just going to put it underneath my eyelids. So I'm gonna wear your bell because it's kind of like fun. I'm gonna put on some mascara. from a sale order to SC edit stuff or whatever and I'm just gonna pop that
Okay, I'm going to use this lipstick. This is by MAC. It's Velvet Teddy. And I'm just going to put... I'm all done so this is the finished look hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it leave down any comments down below if you have any questions on products or anything like that so that's pretty much it for this little get ready with me i hope you guys liked it and love you guys so so much Bye.